Hello fellow Miraculars, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already seen the title of today's video, we are going to be reading Miraculous the Movie 2 theories that my followers have sent me through Instagram. So let's get this started. So I'm literally going to be reading this off of my phone. Um, I'm already seeing a lot of comments where you guys are saying that Natalie will become Mayura. Um, Natalie is going to tell Adrian about his mother and that we'll see Natalie with the Peacock Miraculous and all the season two and three heroes. That would be very interesting if Natalie did become Myra, especially with the ending of the first movie. It seemed like Gabriel was letting Natalie in on his secret and that's where it just seems like it's going to be leading. Of course, Zag could completely change things as he changed things with the first movie. We already got a reveal. hoping that we'll see Natalie as Myra. Who knows, maybe we won't. Um, I don't know, personally to me, I didn't really see Natalie as interested in Gabriel in that way compared to her in the show. So who knows if she's gonna have the same personality, if she's gonna be a little more hesitant. But personally, I don't see if Natalie were to become Myra in the second movie, I couldn't see her telling Adrian about his mother if she's, if she would be working for Gabriel, you know? I feel like that would be a stab in the back to him because Adrian shouldn't know about that. Lila is going to be the new student, but Marinette might expose her on who she is. That would be an interesting take. We definitely haven't seen Lila in the first movie yet, so I'm hoping that she's introduced in the second movie, but maybe not as powerful as she is on the show because Marinette exposed her in season five, but she really doesn't know who Lila is and all the plans that Lila actually has in the back of her mind. Um, Marinette just thinks that she's a mean girl bully, but she doesn't know how truly evil Lila can be. Personally, to me, if they were to introduce Lila in the movie, I don't think she's going to be as powerful as she would be in the show. Just because there's not enough time in a movie, which is the disadvantage of making a movie, you need to consider time, what's worth putting in, what's not. That changes a lot of things, you know? So one theory is if they do introduce her, it, she's not going to be as powerful because where was she in the first movie, you know? If we wanted to make her more powerful, they should have introduced her in the first movie. Another person said they didn't reveal it was just teasing us. I would be so mad if that happened in the second movie. Like, we we got the reveal. Why would why would you backtrack it in a movie? You know, like in the show when they backtracked it, it was all in the same episode. Why would we wait so many years just for them to backtrack it? You know, that doesn't make sense. Um, I personally would be very mad if they did that and I don't think that they would do that because that would be a stupid move. So someone else said, Bunnix comes right when they were about to kiss. Oh no God! No. I would, I would hate the movie. I would hate it. Hate it. So yeah, no. I don't think that's going to happen and if it does, I would be mad but I really don't think that's going to happen because that would not make sense at all. I think that Ladybug or Cat Noir's Miraculous will be taken and then the other person will have to get it. If that happens, I don't know how I would think about that. Um, I mean, I don't really think, they say that they're stronger together, but Gabriel kicked the out of Marinette in the first movie. She is nowhere near powerful as Gabriel. And them alone? No chance. I'm sorry. I mean, the movie was cute, but Marinette and Adrian, they were a little... they were weak. They were weak in the first movie um, compared to Gabriel. In season one of the show, Marinette still kicked his ass. He kicked his ass. So I really, really hope that that doesn't happen unless unless Marinette and Adrian become more powerful, you know. I personally feel like 
there would need to be a lot of stuff to happen with the second movie. And I don't know how long they're planning on making the second movie because in my opinion the first movie was a little too short. Um, 90 minutes did not cut it for me. I would have liked it to be at least maybe two hours. It could have been good two hours. Anything longer than that? Mm, no. But actually how long was the movie? 12 seconds later. So the movie was actually one hour and 45 minutes. Still a little too short for me. I think that they could have made it two hours. Just my personal opinion. I don't like when movies are too long, but an hour and 45 minutes, I felt like I was a little rushed and they could have added an extra 15 minutes. I don't know. Personally, I think that the movie is going to be a lot different than the show. Um, just because the first movie was pretty different than the show, I feel that Gabriel is more sentimental compared to the Gabriel in the show, if that's the correct word. Um, Gabriel in the show is very heartless for the most part. He has always been cold and every time that he found out about Adrian's identity or Cat Noir, Adrian, same person, right? Um, every time he's found out about his identity, he's always kicked his ass. And as soon as the movie version of Gabriel found out that Cat Noir was Adrian, he immediately stopped everything and they had this cute little moment. It was very heartwarming to see um, compared to the show because, you know, show Gabriel, movie Gabriel. Two different people. It seems like Gabriel in the movie is still gonna try something because of what happened in the end, but he might be more careful now that he knows that Adrian is Cat Noir. Um, so who knows what they could do with that. If he's still gonna try to bring Emily back, even though he knows that Adrian is Cat Noir, how, how would that even work? I don't know what they could do. That's gonna be... I don't know what the writers are gonna do. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of the answers that I got through Instagram regarding theories are very repetitive. So I'm gonna move on and talk about some of the things that I think may or may not happen within the second movie. Another theory that I have is that since Adrian and Marinette know each other's identities, I think that there is definitely going to be some issues between them. No relationship is perfect realistically and I think it's important for the creators to show that but of course without too much toxic stuff you know like ups and downs are okay but not too much you know not in an unhealthy level. I think that the writers are going to portray that in some sense. I have no idea how but I feel like the like the first movie was too good. We got what we wanted. We got the identity reveal. We got them getting close. We didn't get the kiss, of course, but I think that that will happen in the next movie. Something that I find very interesting about the movie is that Adrian knows that Marinette is Ladybug, but not Alia, where in the show, Alia found out first and Adrian still doesn't know yet, as of right now. But that's for a different video. I actually made a season six theory video just the other week. So if you haven't seen that yet, definitely go check it out. So that's it for today's video. If you want me to make videos like this more often, definitely let me know. I would be happy to do this. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and see you on the next video. Bye.